G'day guys and welcome back to Total War Attila. This is part 59 of our legendary Eastern Roman Empire campaign. And basically we're just going through and killing everyone we can as quick as we can. So I think there's how many left? 17 left to go, so it's not too bad. There's a lot of, well there's a few hordes now. There's the Bundians, the Geats. They're actually very close to my navy down here. We might be able to catch them. Um, yeah, there's the Geats, there's the Rugians and the Separatists, etc. So what we're going to actually try and do, where's the Huns? We're just going to get the Huns to help us. Let us break bread and drink before words pass our lips. Uh, maybe, oh, who cares? Just go to war with everyone. I'll pay you to do it. I've got, uh, what do we say? 10,000? Done. Good. I'm actually going to declare war on the separatists. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Cool, and the Huns join me, so that's great. Hopefully the Huns will get them. Who else is out here? We're at war with the Rugians, so, yep. Hispania I'm going to deal with in a second. We're not going to declare war on them until we're right next to their base, so hopefully we'll get all their armies at once. And what else we got? Saxons, I'm going to wait and try and get my two armies up there and get them at once, just so they don't become a horde as well. And everyone else we're at war with. Right, so... Apparently the Bundians are out here. So they're sort of... about there, I'm guessing. So what's that? Oh, we can't even... Well, we're not going to move, are we? Should we take out these two? Well, we probably should have done that. Oh well. Come back to that. What are we up? What else are we up to? Are we up to an end turn, are we? Can you move? No? Good. Uh, let's go up here. We'll see what the Saxons are up to. I know the Franks are here. I think the Huns are trying to deal with them. Let's go up here. Ooh, this is going to be good. Alright, so we've got two full stacks. Uh, we've got a new army as well with the new Cav and the Axemen, so that's great. What have they got? So they've got 17 there, 12 there. Their skirmishes though. I mean those guys are actually... Shit. <laughs> they held up pretty well in combat against one of my Cav's, Cav units, but they're shit. Uh, another 10, another 17, and 6. Anyway, yes. uh, we can't attack this turn though, I don't think. Oh, yes, we can. Cool. Ready for Ready for so we're going to attack them. That's going to be good. That's going to be a good fun battle. Um, we're going to save that though, just until I've gone through everyone else. Alright, you're still stuck here, unfortunately. The Navy's not moving. Um, you're going down to get Septimania. The Geats showed up out of note. They were down here somewhere hiding. Um, and just sacked that city. So we're just going to come in and raise it and get rid of it. We'll come back and deal with it in a minute. Uh, now, Gaul have an army here, but they can't attack me, I don't think. So, we'll give these chance, guys a chance to replenish a little bit. And then we might attack them. Oh, we've got this one to attack as well. Oh, that's right. That's where we left the episode off. So, we've got two good attacks this episode. Um, you're in Force March, so you're not doing anything. You're up there. You're there. You're there. You're recruiting archers for these armies. It is an honor um, to you're done, so you need to go and get... Um, Cav. Advance. So you can come down here and grab the Cav for the, both the armies. You have further right. orders. And what we're going to do, we get Silent four of these. And, and I want to try some more of these. Just to get better with the Cataphracts. Oh, they're not Cataphracts, but... I want to keep using them. They've got uh, 270 charge bonus. And they've got good armor. Their melee attack isn't that bad. Their damage is pretty low and that, but I want to get better with them. They are a bit slow though, so they're not good against Cav. But we've got Spearmen to that. And this is when we go up to, against the Huns. So they might be really good against the Hunnic Cav. Then again, these have excellent attack against Cav. Have we upgraded our... 
Yeah, these are fully upgraded. Do we have any more cav coming? Yeah, these guys. Okay, well, they're going to be tier 3. And they're 6 turns away, so that's not too far. Uh, that's the general's unit, so... That's nothing to worry about there. Recruitment capacity, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so that's the last of the units I think we can get. So 6 turns, so that's not long. That could even be this episode, depending... Actually, it won't be this episode, we've got two battles to do. And we're going to fight those ones manually because they look like fun. Alright, so who first? The Saxons or the... Or Gaul? A bit low on units here. Anyway, let's do Gaul first. We take this settlement for Rome! You know what, guys? I'm actually just going to auto-resolve this. It's not going to be an interesting battle. No, I'm joking. Let's fight it. It's, it honestly won't be the most interesting battle, but it is a interesting something. Better than fighting just a boring little garrison. Alright, so let's start. We've got dry conditions. Alright, uh, where do we want to attack from? Probably here is the best spot to attack from. We've got reinforcements coming from the other side of the map though, so we're going to attack from the other side of the map. That sort of did that for me. Oh, shit. Alright, we're going to attack from this side of the map. Well, what we can do, we can send one army through here and one army through there. Even though it's not much of an army. And they might be vulnerable. So you guys, explosive rounds. This, 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 this. Uh, general, just hide somewhere. Here you go, hide in those trees. No, not, a, not counted as a forest. Oh. He's fine there. Let's start the battle. Right, so, Bellastare can go there. This ant's nest of villainy is the last hiding place of our enemies. Beyond the hovels within those walls, so they have just go flaming shot, and let's take out that tower. Should be able to get it in one shot, and then we'll get their units. Uh, you guys can probably all come over here. Looks like they're going to push this way, so... Let's get these guys over here as well. I don't think they had a lot of archers either, so... That battle star should be able to do plenty of damage. We got one hit. Come on guys, over here. We've got one unit of cav at the moment. So put them over there. Alright. You guys do explosive shots now. And just aim for whoever. Oh, aim for that. That might be a good shot. No, not it's not explosive shots. So Cav can go and deal with them. They're just mounted brigands. These guys are in Testudo. You guys over here. Alright. Onigas, shoot for the general. The enemy tower is no more than wreckage now. Okay, we're gonna get. He goes back here. We've got some more heavy cav coming. So we'll get him over here quickly. You guys take out. Shoot their archers. You take out them. Hey, how's the Onigas going? 35 and 17. Not bad. Oh, come on, that's like the best shot ever. Get them. We're in melee here. Bellastari are shooting their mounted bows. They need to be heavy shot. Trigger that, trigger that. Come on guys, fire. Quick, before they get out in the open. Ah. Those shots are awesome. Oh, there's a... Oh. They can just shoot at whoever they want now. Head my cap go. They're actually winning that battle. Uh, their brigands are throwing. Yeah, that's no worries. Ballastari, come on, shoot them. Good. Uh, we did alright. Let's go standard shot. Two sides quicker. Don't think Germanic Warband had much armor. Okay, you guys can just go fire at will. Right, we're winning over there. We've got some more cav coming. No, that's my other general. These guys are just. Yeah, they're pretty slow, but they're coming. Archers are destroying them. So they can just do standard shot. 
that unit of it's wavering. Their general run away. He's obviously a coward. These only girls must shoot over there. Oh no, did we lose our cav? We did. Oh well. You guys shoot them. You're in test though, so you'll be fine. Uh, they're sending spearmen around. But these two units can deal with them. Get them over here. Let's put them on heavy shot as well. Alright, we're done here. So you guys line up with your heavy shot. Be quick about it though. And we're just going to shoot all the common tense spears. So these guys have got 90 missile damage, which is brilliant. So they can get through them pretty easily. Only because they're still firing, doing lots of damage. We're just going to ambush these spearmen. We should be able to get them. If you get a charge into their side, um, 270 charge bonus, should be able to break them. Okay, you guys can get them. Are you guys firing? Yeah, good. Alright, so let's use Wedge. Guys push around. They've also got fear, which is why I kind of want to use them as well. So we should be able to scare these guys. So a couple good hits should be able to break those spearmen. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Oh no, archers run away. Run away, run away. Oh yeah, I guess shooting at. What are they going with their general? Just leaving the map. Archers just keep running. You guys there. These guys are taking their time, but they are getting here slowly. I can have a go. Okie dokie. Let's do a charge into these Comitente Spears. Only gives a shooting at God knows what. You guys just go into skirmish mode and run away. Uh, you guys set up. So, put you, 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 and you together. Set you guys up, and then we've got all of you. Yep, and the numeroy oh. over here. Okay, so we start shooting them. Parkman can get over here. We've got another charge in on these guys. It wasn't as good this time. I suppose we hit them in the side, not the rear. Uh, the only guys are shooting at those archers. Pikeman jumping in here. Archers are still running away, hopefully. Obviously I'm not too concerned about this army, really. They've only got one more city to go after, and then we'll work out what else to do with them. So we'll do some more charges with these guys. These guys are all holding. Uh, what else we got? Just get these guys, please. You shoot them. And two units over there to help. We've got all these archers. Right, let's shoot after them. Okay, so the cab's ready to do another charge. Let's turn around and get these guys. How do we get. The general was over there somewhere. I think he was chasing those, no? I don't know what he, what he was doing. He ran away though. Right. So the only gets finished. These guys are going to come around in a circle. These guys are all starting to break. Just chasing them. He can turn around and shoot them now. All these archers went to shoot after them. Okay. You guys chase them. You guys chase them. You guys keep going around this way. Right. Cav have broken them, so I have to get rid of those archers. You guys can push around. Those other onigas will just stop, take them off fight world, just so they don't shoot anybody by accident. Okay, cover chasing them. Uh, that's all fine here. You guys in circle. We just need a win, we don't have to kill any, chase them down, I don't think. The enemy have rallied their units. So they're dead. They're dead. Circle these guys. Kill them. You know what, forget about them. Just get after these guys now. Alright, so we'll take them off Wedge, because it slows down their speed too much. Alright, they're all broken. Push around here. 
I'm chasing them. Uh, Archers shoot them. You guys get those guys. General can probably get them. Oh shit, they've got lots over here. We're just chasing them like idiots, are we? Fair enough. Actually, where's those onigas? Let's go. Explosive shot. Quick about it. He should be okay. Enemy should know when the odds are hopeless. Probably a bit low. I probably shouldn't have done that. There's only 16 of them left. Might have been a bit risky. So all the archers are shooting. Yeah, these guys are all starting to break. How are these onigas going? They're firing. Can you guys turn around and shoot? Just do a heavy shot. Do a barrage quickly. Quick barrage. Tree block that. Uh, so the only guys can keep shooting them. They're broken. Uh, these guys are all going to break. Just get them. The cabs are engaged over here. So they've got scare. We should be able to break these guys. Nope, didn't work. What if you use it as well? I had four of them do it. I think I was playing... It might have been these guys, Eastern Romans. Um, four of them did it, and we broke a couple units instantly. So that was really fun. Because it's minus nine, and I think it adds up. But, I mean, the morale's 49 sort of thing for my units, so theirs wouldn't have been that low. We're chasing these guys. We didn't kill their general, I don't think. I think he ran away, which is why we haven't... Kill every single unit. Anyway, you guys throw your javelins. There we go. That was good. They should break. Okay, you can stop firing before we get my own troops. Jeez, they just don't want to break, do they? Alright, kill them all. You guys get them. Over here, can we get these archers, please? They're going to go now. Everyone's wavering. No, still not going to break. No, they came back. The enemy refuses to admit defeat. Yeah, they, they do really do. Rally. It's because their general's alive somewhere. All right, let's just fast forward. I want to go fight that Saxon battle. It'll be fun. Okay. So they're destroyed. They're breaking... They're all starting to waver again. The men are Come broken on. and running for their lives. They've broken. What do we have to do to win this? We have to kill the general. There he is. Where the hell is he? There he is. Over in the background, he ran all the way over there for some reason. We have yep. destroyed the enemy tower. I suppose we have to go and get him. We got the morale point. It's the first time a general's actually ever run away. I don't know why he's done it, but first time I've ever seen it. This unit of cavs should be able to do it. charge. It was a really shit wedge. But it was pretty effective. Now we're done. I'm really hoping to get this series done by the weekend. Which we, I think it's doable. And then we're going to do some... Um, Huns, and then we're going to go and do some northern tribes after we do the Huns. 
um, just because we've done a few episodes on the East now. So we've done the Eastern Romans and we're doing the Saxons, not the Saxons, the Sassanids at the moment. So we'll take a break from the Eastern ones and do something a bit different. Let's get rid of this. Your next command. What I'd really like to do is, if it ever gets released on DLC, um, something like Gaul or just a Roman faction that's not Western Rome, so you don't start with an empire. You have to build up your empire. So that'd be pretty cool if you do an actual Roman faction and start from the start. It is an honor to serve Rome. All right. So these guys can just stay here. They're going to start taking attrition, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come and attack. But it looks like it's going to take them two turns, Ready which is good. Battle. We'll see what happens there. Let's go into the Saxon. Yeah, Saxons. I've got it right this time. Uh, up here. Reporting. This should be cool. We'll probably get attacked by the Franks straight after. But it doesn't matter. Ready for orders. As long as we completely destroy these guys, it'll be good. Ready for battle. Huns. Minus what's yeah. Can't hurt. Good. Our warriors, we take this settlement for Rome. Alrighty. So they've got some Nordic axe warriors, which are fairly good units. We've got some upgraded cav, well there's Saxon lances, but Nordic spearmen, Nordic javelinmen. Another full stack, and cool. What city have we got? It's a barbarian city, so it won't be very good. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's this one again. Alright, let's fight the battle. Should be fun. Good. Yeah. Our reinforcements are coming from this side, which is useless because we can't attack from this side. We don't want to attack through here. We'll get bottlenecked. So we're going to attack from the other side and we'll just bring all our reinforcements around. We can still get bottlenecked here, to be honest. But I think this is the. Well. Unless we attack from two sides. The best place to attack from is probably over here, to be honest. It's nice and open. We might try this. So Cav can go here. They can just hide in the forest. Everyone else can go here. Now these axe warriors are going to be great for a fighting in the city. So they're going to be really good. I need to start looking at the Huns to work out what if... I don't think they have full Cav armies even though they're really meant to. I think they have a lot of units as well. So we'll have a look and work out what they actually have. And then we'll start building armies to counter them. Just so when we do go to war with them, we actually have armies out there. We don't have to build new ones. They may not be that good anyway. Right, so we just do flaming shot, flaming shot. You guys are fine here. Uh, with Yeah, it's not very upgraded. So let's start the battle. Oh, they've got an army go. Fuck. Alright, let's take that out. Be quick, be quick, be quick. It's gonna miss. Down. Good. Leave Come on, hurry up. On Come on, eight shots. One's gonna have to hit. Nope. Yes. Good. Did he hit me? Yes. Oh well. The enemy approaches. All right. So let's move up a bit now, because oh shit, they've got all their reinforcements too. I'm so stupid. I've got to look out for them. Like, why are you firing? Stop. Let's move up to... Where's this tower's range? Move up to here. I guess. Yeah, you'll be fine there. Alright, I'm going to bring all my reinforcements around. Maybe not the Onigas, there's probably no point bringing them around. Hopefully they put all their units into the city. Um, they've got Onigas on the walls and stuff, but... That shouldn't be an issue. Right. You guys in position? Good, let's take out that tower. 
You guys get up here. You guys gonna fire? Yeah, they're getting about to fire now. Uh, we'll go look over here just to see what's happening. And we're just gonna go to here. Go back over the other side now. Why are you firing? You weren't told to fire. Oh, you were, sorry. Yeah, he was. The other one wasn't. You need to fire on this tower. Right. Where's my other army? They're coming. We're going to try and go through here. Uh, there is an Oniga here, though, unfortunately. But we're just going to bring them to here. Cav can go there. Uh, and those Onigas will hold their fire. And we're up. So we've gotten one tower, take out the next. How do we go here? He's missed with everything. Got one hit then, good. Uh, now we've got Numeroi, so we can... I reckon they'll still do enough damage. Even in Test Suit, I reckon these guys will do a lot of damage. So we'll just use up our Onigas ammunition first before we try and waste any of their ammunition. It's just I've got the Ballastari as well, and they'd be really effective against their Axe Warriors. Let's we'll check over here. Those only going to take forever to get here, so maybe just come to somewhere around here. They're shooting with their Onigar. We can waste its ammunition. Maybe we'll just get them close enough. No, no, general. We can go here. Back over to the other side. Do we hit this? Oh, it's another one gone. Good. So let's, can we move closer? What's their range? They don't, oh, they don't have a range. Those guys do, but it's very short. So let's move a little bit closer, maybe to about here. You guys move to about there. It's on fast forward, so we'll just leave it there for now, keep an eye on the time. We just need these onigas to get within They've got huge range. Uh, where can they fire to? They can fire to it there already. So they've got massive range. We've just got to get them close enough to maybe get the gate and the towers. Alright, so... You guys should be close enough to put a hole in the wall. Um, there's no... I don't think that collapses, so we're not going to fire at that. Let's just fire for this. So they're nice and close. They should be very accurate. And you can take out the gate. They got one in four shots. He did better. So we'll just take, put a few holes in the walls just so we can get our axemen in. And then we'll get those onigas closer and they can fire. How'd you go this time? Two out of four. We got through here and we took out a we lot of those axe warriors. Alright. Uh, let's put a hole here where it's already damaged. Did we get through the gate yet? No. No, 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 don't move. Just... The enemy gates have crumbled. Shit, shit. They're coming after me, are they? Cav. Hit Cav. I need you, Cav. Oh, no. What the hell they do? Oh, they just formed up. Alright, we don't need the Cav. Cav, stay back. Did we get through the gate? We did. So, same for that fort wall. You guys keep moving. How'd you go that time? Got one hit. I wouldn't mind one. Or maybe we should take out that tower. We should get one more hole here. Good. Probably don't even need that other army, to be honest. And do we just try and widen this, I guess? Should have enough ammunition to do it. Same for that, just make it a bit wider. Okay. Where are my Ballastari? You guys. Group up. Uh, heavy shot. Auto trigger, auto trigger. Hold your fire though. And just get to here. 
We gonna get through? Yeah, we should get through. Live. Right, you've got one shot left. You're finished. A unit's ammunition and you missed. Is spent, right, and so no you can drop your fire. equipment and just move back. General, come here where you're safe. The Pretty sure all their destroyed. troops are in the city the now. Are no more. But they will have more reinforcements coming in. Right, and now you can just do fire. We'll do an explosive sh rounds and just hit for right in the middle of them. Don't move, just fire. Yeah, that's really an accurate shot. That was good. I want here though, aim for this. Haha. <laughs> How'd you go for kills? 141 already. Nice. So he's got two shots left. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go on to these other Onigas now. Um, what we're actually going to do there. We don't need them. I'm going to bring all these troops over. Let's run them all around here. Don't do that. Uh, just so they're all together. In case they get some reinforcements and I'm not paying attention. And they get hit and we lose units like, for no reason basically. Alright, so you can leave the map as well. So can you. Now, get our Balastari. Move forward a bit. We'll stay out of their range, which is about there, and then we can just fire it well. They should be able to destroy most of those units. Why aren't you firing? Can guys fire? There we go, good. So just stop and then fire will, just so they don't move when those guys run away. Okay, everyone else is coming over. Better bring the general over too. We've got some more of these. Now they took some losses from the Onigar, but wasn't anything too severe. So you can come over here. And what's they're all ours. Should just be able to go there and fire. It should be fine. It's still in fast forward, we'll just leave it on fast forward for a second. You guys move up a little bit closer. Let's bring the Axemen up. So they're in position for a charge. Got these guys, they can go over here. They have no archers at all, do they? Doesn't look like it. These guys have, I think, 25 ammunition to start with, so it takes them a good half an hour to use it all. So you can just leave them on auto, fire at will. They'll keep bringing units closer. If we put Numeroi here like that, um, we're going to be within range of their javelins, but it'll keep um, units a lot closer. They'll move up to try and defend. So if we look like we're going to attack, they'll bring some more units over. And then get destroyed. So we can test two of these guys. Okay, test two. Good. And these guys can just fire it well. While we, what are we going to do? We're just going to plan. So we'll put these units of cav there. I wouldn't mind charging these guys. If we get a clear opening, we could charge up into the back of them all. But I doubt that's going to happen. Got the Eastern Armored Legio there, the Numeri up there, Axemir the there, two generals can go here. These guys are still going. How are we going for kills? 50s, and 100s. So, yeah. If we can, can completely destroy these armies, even though there's seven running away out of the back there, um, if we completely destroy them, then we could probably keep going and take out the Franks as well. Okay, they're bringing more units up. 
These are spearmen, so they've got reasonable armor. So we'll just leave them on heavy shot. But they've been massacred. Especially considering they're firing uphill into a city. They're still getting really good kills. And they have no choice. They have to keep bringing units over in case I attack. Enemy units have been rallied. So we'll let them go. How are we going from now? We've got about 160, so he's killed an entire unit. 120, another entire unit. Pretty good. These guys are firing volleys though, which I don't think it's as effective, so let's put them here. And they might do direct shots, which should be more effective, hopefully. It's just too easy. It's like a turkey shoot. Oh, these guys aren't going to last long. They're just pikemen, they have no armor. <laughs> Goodbye. They tried. I've seen one of these Palestari units get 800 kills. And if you put them on a barricade, they can get over a thousand. We'll just leave this go. We may... Actually, there's going to be reinforcements coming. I keep forgetting that. I should probably look out. What the hell are you? Why aren't you up here? Did I just use the Numeri? Oh, that was the other squad of the Numeri. Oops. They had over two full stacks, so they had more than 40 units, so there should be more coming in to fight. Here they are. It's a good thing I remembered that, otherwise I would have looked like an idiot, wouldn't I? So, we'll just leave these guys here. We'll use our cav to deal with all this. So you can go there, group up. Guys, group up. I would put my cab on the other side of the city and hunt down all their units. But the fact that their general's not dead means we're probably killing... Oh, a lot of them are going to be weak, but... I was hoping we'd be killing more than that. No, there's 24 left, so they're still going to have an army left, unfortunately. Their general is dead! A lethal blow! That wasn't their general, was it? No, that was an extra general. Come on, shoot these guys. Alright, so our... Numero are coming. We'll just move down here so we can see what's going on. Um, you guys, let's move over here and cut them off. Okay, cav here. Let's just slow it down. How are we going now? They've moved their brigands up. How are we going for killed? Hundreds, 250 nearly. 250 exact, 55, and 270 I think. Alright, you guys can charge in. You guys can flank. Those Axe Warband won't last very long. Or Axe Germanic Warband? No, Axe Warriors. That won't last. So, charge in. Let's do one unit at a time. Let's do Diamond. Quick, quick. quick. I'll try and draw these guys forward so we can attack from behind with the cav. These guys are still going. 280. Nearly, nearly 300. Not going to be much left there soon. So, destroy those javelin men. Just get into melee there. You guys into melee with the pikemen. Cav, just get on a flank. Not all of you. Okay, they've gone, so reform. Should be able to get a good charge in. The charge bonus isn't massive, it's only 50, but it's not bad. I'm looking forward to getting these Eastern Auxiliary... Oh, there's more units over there. Um, Eastern Auxiliary Palatina and the Tier 3 Cav, because I've never actually looked at the Tier 3 Cav for the Romans. Okay. When I played as the Western Romans, I think I only got up to Military Victory, and then I just gave up. There's no point continuing. All it was was chasing hordes around, and I had to basically do this and just build up an empire and get enough um, regions, and I just couldn't be bothered. I got my minor victory, which was enough, and I got a military victory, which was enough. So I called it quits after doing that. This one, however, I'll try and get Divine Triumph, just for the sake of it. 
Okay, that wasn't a really good charge, but it was good enough. Uh, there's units over there we won't worry about. They can just come and die with the rest of these guys. I mean, they've got 10 left. I've got 9. How are you going for kills? 300. Okay. 320. 320. Good. They've still got lots of units, but we've probably destroyed at least an entire stack easily. Right. So we'll just reform here. We'll finish off that unit and see if any more show up. Not to worry about getting those guys over there. We could chase all these down, but who really cares? Are they giving up defending here? Come on, I'm going to attack. They have to defend it. Just leave that go. Um, you guys can all just pull back. Put it back on fast forward. Um, archers can all just stop firing for now. Hold your fire. Let's see if they... Yeah, they're bringing more. Bringing a Nordic Warlord, so that's another general. Um, some more Axemen, and they're probably going to put these units up here as well. But for now, we'll just hold our fire. I don't think anything else is going to appear through here. I'm not sure, though. We've got half an hour left to go. If we get to about 20 minutes, then we'll attack. So you guys can start firing. It's not going to last very long. I mean, he threw, he's throwing his javelins at the... New Marine, he's not doing any damage. Come on, destroy him. Another Nordic Warlord. They've broken. Get these guys now. Alright, so these guys have two shots left and they've killed nearly 400. Great. I know this is probably pretty boring for some people, but this is fun. This is what the game's all about. It's so much, I'd still rather do this than a boring defensive battle with two armies. Okay, we're going to get the cav. Yep. Still going. They might get their 400. Getting plenty of experience too. That's the one thing about this campaign. I can lose battles in the next one, but not lose any battles. So our units are going to get a shitload of experience. Because I'm going to try not to lose them, sort of thing. And I can't just replace an army when it dies. So. That'll add a whole new element of gameplay. Get the javelins. Now, you're out of ammo, you're out of ammo. So how'd you go? 215... 451, nice. 119. Great. As soon as we run out of ammunition, then we'll attack. I think we're done here. I don't think any more units are going to show up. So we can move our units over here now. Uh, we'll just use the last of our ammo. These guys have uh, 75 missile damage, so they must throw their axes or something. So we'll put them in a group. We're going to send them in first. Alright, we've still got a few shots left. Come on guys, hurry up. Just kill these guys. These guys might get 500. Three shots to go, 24 minutes to go, that's plenty of time. Still got more units coming into the city though. Oh, they finally got some hurlers. It's a bit late though. No, no, don't move forward. There you go, 480. Alright, we'll stop there. So we're going to send all the axe men up through here. Then we're just going to spread out. Oh shit, they're going to use their hurlers, are they? Maybe we'll let them fire. 
doesn't matter. They're not going to do any damage. It's one unit. It'll probably do like 300 damage, to be honest. But... So these guys can go up through here. Uh, these guys can go through this, through there. And we're going to keep this one open for Cav. Maybe. We'll wait and see. So you go up through that. Yep, we're going to do that. Good. All of you guys through here. You've got rapid advance. Let's use that. Oh, you're not going to do it though. Alright, you go through there then. You really doesn't want to do it. Oh, just hold off. Get into melee. We should be able to smash through these guys. We can actually zoom in and watch this probably. Those hurlers again. They're going away. Oh, frame rate. Too many units. Oh, they threw a cavy. Well, I want to zoom in and watch that, but I suppose I should pay attention. We don't have any lances or oh, spearmen, so we'll just use these axe warband. They took a lot of damage. That wasn't all from the charge, was it? Surely not. We're in here now. So we can circle around this way. We can bring the cav over. I've got these new Mori. Might have to throw them into melee too. These guys suck against cav. I suppose that. Just fair enough. They can't be good against everything. You guys just line up and throw your javelin. And then we'll get you into melee. Cav, we're going to bring up into here. Because they just have axe warriors. They've got some spearmen, but... And there's a barricade there. And there. Oh well. So you guys can come here. You guys throw your javelins, and then we'll get into melee. Alright, I'm not going to put any more axemen in my armies. They're going to be horrible against the Huns. They're good against units, though. So. Alright, you guys charge in. You guys charge around. Cav over here. That's, oh, no, no, no. Wrong unit. You guys that way. Uh, two units of Cav here. We're just going to try and encircle those spearmen. Okay. You guys. One unit into those axemen. One unit just captured this tower. You guys were in melee here. We went in melee here, but it took a lot of damage. There you go. All right. Can you capture this, please? They're not moving, are they? Yep, they are. Oh, wait. Okay. You guys keep attacking. We've got 20 minutes left, so we'll be fine for time. They're actual spearmen, so they're pretty dangerous against Cav. I'm hoping they turn around, though, and then we can charge into them. We're capturing this tower. It's done a lot of damage to me. Maybe I shouldn't have done that with the Onigo. Right, so they've turned around, but... Let's wait. We're in here. We've won this. These guys are pushing up. I've lost off those axe guys. That's horrible. Come on, get this tower. You guys can charge around. These are facing the wrong way. No, they're not. They're turned around, but they're moving, so we should get a charge. Mm. Yeah, not the best. Alright, we're gonna charge them from behind. How did we not capture the tower? We lost every. Oh my god. That was horrible. Anyway, uh, now you guys over here. You guys up there. What do we got left? Heaps. Uh, Numero can come over here. Still got those guys in melee. These guys are fine. These guys are breaking. We use steady just to help us for a second. Alright. At least the axe band will be good to break through that barricade with. How about we didn't get the damn tower? The entire unit was sacrificed. We're getting bottlenecked here, unfortunately. Uh, the only way around is to go completely around. So we'll smash through here. Cav should be finishing up with these guys in a second. And then we've got some more numeri who can come up. Understood. Are you 
running for their lives. Right, so let's get this tower before it does any more damage. There's not much left to go. Okay, we're still getting through here pretty nicely. We'll get through this barricade in no time at all. So it's at 50 percent. A few seconds we'll get through that. We're getting hit by those javelins though unfortunately. We've got that tower so we can come on up here now. Then we can charge through and get the javelins if need be or charge around. Right, we're through here so oh we can actually get through here we can charge into the side of them so you guys go up to there the cav can do it charge and that that's you guys just get them you can push into the city and go after the general so they can go up here and up there okay cav to charge into all these javelins Even though we won, they're still going to have a lot of units left over that we're going to have to hunt down. So hopefully we'll get them all. And then they won't turn into a horde. Right, they're all starting to waver. Did we get the genome? More javelins here. What happened to our unit of Cav? Oh, here. Yeah. Little rep then. So those three units of cab can take out those javelin men. These guys can keep going here. These guys can push around this way. Go into the city. Keep going. They're gonna break. Okay. Got a good charge there. Keep going. You guys up here. Once these guys break, we'll send the cab up that way, up the hill. We may not even have to, they should all break by then. Where's my other cab? You guys get up here. break? Nope. Come on, there's none left. It's 92. So a good charge should destroy them and then we'll go up there. Actually we can see the general now. So you guys get him. They just don't want to die. I suppose they're tier 2 or I don't think they're tier 3. Need to die. Come on, we're getting shot by those towers. Just... Alright, that's enough. Forget about that. Just get the general. You guys get these guys. Back on fast forward. I don't know how we're going for time. We've used 45 minutes of battle time, but it was on fast forward for a lot of it, I think. So we'll just get all these guys. Should capture the gates. Right, and then we'll just use the cav just to chase them all down. And kill these guys. There's not a lot to do. Come on, kill the general. Use the enemy refuses to admit defeat. Their unit has rallied. That's steady. Let's use that. Cav, can you get a charge? You'll probably break before you get a charge. He's wavering, he should... There we go. In the battle before we get shot by the towers. We've got 7,000 of them. There's a thousand left. There's 2,000. A lot of it were those axe warriors and those cav. So we pretty much lost one army. Roughly. Okay. Yeah, this army's in really bad condition. These guys are okay. Goodbye. And they've got hordes. Three of them. Four of them. Bugger.
Hopefully the Huns will help us with them. Uh, no one's got any movement left. So you need some mercenaries. Oh, there's no mercenaries though. That's not good. All right, just merge what we can here. I doubt they're going to come and attack me. Oops, wrong button. Shit, come on. Alright. So you have no movement. You have used your movement as well. How have they got all this? They must have hired the mercenaries. Really? Oh well, if they come and attack we'll kill them. And we're not going to be strong enough to take out the Franks, so hopefully the Huns have got that. Looks like they died though. Or ran away. Uh, I think that was it for the end. For the turn though. So let's do an end turn. We're going to have to start building up some more armies. Eventually. Actually, what are you doing? Oh, you're coming over here in case we needed it. Fair enough. And... No, we don't want these guys. So we'll get rid of them. Okay, we didn't get too many of them. We'll just go with the Numeroi and uh, Lancia Senators now. We'll put four units of Lancia Senators and five units of the Numeroi, I think. Those new cab are okay. They're better than the old, other other ones, so we'll keep using them. But yeah, let's do an end turn. Uh, you're a governor, so what's this? You don't experience? No, just get... Actually, just get that. No, you... Actually, you know what? Just get that. And you're a general. You're a really shit general, but... Probably the best we've got. Actually, no. Get that. Okay. Do an end turn, and then we'll probably end the episode after that, guys. Had a couple good battles, which was fun. Caledonians are going to attack here, are they? Oh, I'm going to be tired. As much as I want them dead, um, don't want to attack when they're tired if we don't need to. So we'll just pull back. And if they attack again, so be it. Gathering supplies. Having a think. Come on. No, they pull back. Wait, were those two? Oh, they were the two that were in the navies, I guess. They're going after the Huns, so that's good in a way. Might give us a chance to get some of the Saxon armies. They killed the Huns. going to fight this. We'll do it in the episode. Just to do lots of damage to them. Uh, we might be able to get rid of one of these Caledonian armies too. They've actually got a few. Off. They've got two full stacks, or two stacks and two navies. But we're going to fight this. We might not win it, but we'll see how we go. Take your ball outside, dog. Outside. I don't want to play ball. Outside. Dogs come to visit again. Okay, so we've got all these onigas, which are going to be very important. And there goes the dog. So the plan is uh, we're going to put five about here. The rest can go here. And then all of these guys can just hold them and you just hold their navy there while we shoot them. So it's fast forward. Enemy, the enemy has been spotted. I suppose we should target things properly. They're all in numbered order, so you can go after them. You can go after them. You take them. You take them. You take them. 
Uh, who are you? Okay, you're there. You take. Who are you getting shot? Oh, great. Just what we needed. Anyway. That's the Admiral. One of our ships is being boarded. So we got them. Good. Let's get them. So they've all got rapid reload. Come on, guys, turn around and get these guys. Burn that ship down. Right, these guys are all in melee now, which is the plan. Can we please burn this ship down? Right, you need to shoot them before they board you. A ship is being assaulted. Pass them back. We hit him. Come on, guys. Before they get my admiral. Alright, he's dead. Come on, we've hit it three times. I suppose it's actually a navy, not just a shit unit. I guess that's fair enough. Come on. Alright, he's dead. Get those archers. Uh, you guys need to get them. What are you guys up to? Shoot them. You three, shoot him. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing! Come on, sink him. Admiral. Well, we didn't get them all. We didn't get anybody, really. I suppose these Navy ships are taking a lot longer to burn down. Right, they're dead, though. So let's turn around and shoot them. My Admiral can just hide for a second. Come on, get these guys. Let's put this on fast forward now. An Come entire on. unit has perished. You fight them. Men flee the field of battle. Right, well, we lost this. Shame. A ship has caught fire. Maybe not. Can we get this ramming ship before it destroys the us. Enemy has obliterated an entire unit. All no, the stern. We should withdraw for now. Done. I was not expecting that. That's the first actual navy we've fought this whole episode. Normally we're fighting well, maybe one or two units, but that's the first actual navy. And Onyga ships aren't very good against actual navies because they don't burn down quite as quick. Well, we have another fleet of them somewhere. So we can avenge that. We got them. And we didn't get the Caledonians, unfortunately. We must rest a while. A spy. Okay, good. Huns. I wonder who they're going after now. They're heading south. Looks like. Where are they going? Maybe they're going after the Geats. These guys are taking attrition. They're going to attack next turn, I think. And someone else died. Oh, he probably died in the battle. He'll do. So, he gathered intelligence. Yep. Yep. Whatever. Okay. So, this navy can take revenge on them. And probably kill them. This one's still alive, so... He can actually keep going north. And if we get into a different territorial waters, we should be able to... Recruit some, um... Mercenaries, sorry. <laughs> Alright. But we're going to finish up here just because we've done the end turn and 
I know where we're at. So thanks for watching this episode, guys. This was 59. Hopefully we're done by the weekend. So hopefully we're done by about part 70, I'm guessing, which is a lot of gameplay. But there's not much to go. Who we got left? Saxons, all these hordes. I'm hoping the Huns can deal with them. I don't want to go to war with them until they're all destroyed. So I'm hoping they'll do the hard work there. Septimania will destroy. The Langobards have two left, which will get them. Gaul are dying, so they'll be dead soon. The Bundians are there, actually. The Bundians. Can we see them? I know we can go into that naval battle, but the thing is, this isn't going to save. So I can go and find them. Oh, come on, there's one unit left. Oh, well. Um, we're still going to go and attack the Langobards when we um, restart the campaign. Um, I just wanted to see where they are and how strong they were. So we'll leave it here, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to throw some likes and comments and stuff my way about maybe what can be improved on in the next series and stuff like that. Or what you kind of want to see or some different ideas and things. Whatever you want to chat about, that's fine. And you can always subscribe if you want to see some more of my series. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.